Hey, what's up, everybody? Peter Parker Comics. If you're not already, go ahead and give me a follow if you want. If not, I really don't care. But I got a comic haul to show you guys. For you guys. Um, got my little Spidey corner over here. It's not really. It's kind of cool Spidey art up there. Up there too. I think I've shot a couple of videos over here. I don't know if it was this shelf in particular or one a couple below this, but um, yeah. So I got some new books. This is the stuff from the last couple weeks. Um, it's probably kind of a combination of yeah, the last two new comic book days, and then of course tomorrow. It's Tuesday night right now, so tomorrow's another new week. Um, so that's typical for me. I'm always at least six days, if not more, usually. Usually two weeks late on my new haul videos. But yeah, jumping in. And then I'm checking out my MCU collection or whatever. Down below there is like all the Marvel animated collection of stuff. That thing else. Yeah, I've shown these off before. Okay. Well, I'd rather get closer to the books than be able to see Spider Man, so. Sorry, Petey. Make sure we can see Toy Biz Thanos. <laughs> Alright, I got the Hulk. I couldn't resist on some of these Alex Ross covers. I was, wasn't was gonna get them. Because, I don't know, it felt gimmicky, but... Whoop, 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 whoop. <clears throat> I'll just do this. It feels safer. But yeah, I had to get some of the classics. Those are just dope as hell. Um... Okay, man. Um, 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 Oh, yes, yeah, so that's not Marvel's big three. They're missing Thor. Thor should be there instead of Hulk. Um, I would like to get the, the Thor one. I don't know if that was the issue that just came out this week, Thor 7, or if that would be Thor 8. But either way, I'm going to try to get one. Um... So those are cool. Yeah, once I saw them in person, I just couldn't say no. I also picked up... I'll just show you who I got. Well, I think I showed Namor. Submariner in my last video. And I was going to be cool with just that. Like, nah, I don't need any more. I'm fine. Um, but yeah, man, just look at these. They're sick. And speak of the devil, here's Thor. Check these covers out. These I got from the other, this other store I went to. Because my normal LCS was sold out. Um, they were sold out of Thor, of course, shocker. Even though I had put it on my poll like two issues ago. So I understand, yeah, they weren't going to have that immediate issue available for you. But they can usually get me back on. And he swears by next issue, it'll be in my pull list. He said that the last... Uh, this was the second time he said it, so he said it the last two issues, but... <clears throat> I was still able to get one each time, so no sweat. Um, grab this. This is just a true believer that I happened to miss. I don't know if it was this week, last week. I noticed they've been doing it a little different recently, so it's probably not too old. Um, so then this is the rest I... Rest, oh my fucking god, I cannot talk, guys. Sorry. This is the rest of the stuff I got from that other shop I got to, I, I went to, so mostly back issues. You guys don't care, just show the fucking comments. Now both of these, besides the awesome color coordination that they share, they're both the first appearance of Strange Academy, along with like seven other books, but whenever I find them still sitting in the racks, I will grab them. Um, it's also Ant-Man 1. I can't even remember all of them anymore. Ant-Man 1, Doctor Strange 2, what is it? Um, Surgeon, Su Surgeon Supreme. Fuck, it's crooked, man. Sorry, guys. If any of you guys have, uh, have seen me on, the, like, some of the YouTube auctions I've been on, or hell, just seen any, any, other, my, any of my other videos, there's always technical difficulties of some variation. Or wobbling camera. 
Even when it's on a tripod. I like to zoom in on stuff, and I don't do editing, I don't do anything, it's all in one take. I like to throw it around, and I'm just making excuses for sucking. Um, this I didn't even know had a second printing, so I assume 23 and 24 do, which now I need to hunt down. Maybe it just came out. This dopest book. Dopest dope. Yeah, um, those count as uh, preview appearances, do count as first appearances. CGC has always recognized that and put that on the label. I mean, they put it in preview, but you get the whole, like, I don't know if it's five. Why, why would it be five? I think it's, yeah, whatever, like five to eight pages. It's, it's more than a couple. It's not just, like, a page. It's not just, uh, yeah, whatever. I mean, you've seen him. You, you get to see all the characters. All that lovely Ramos art. Umberto. I'm not a fan of his, really, to be honest. He's a nice guy, though. He's a... We've talked through comments on Instagram when I've posted art of his. He's like, hey, that's me, or hey, that I did that. And I was like, cool. I don't give a fuck. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I liked his 90s stuff. He did a uh, impulse. While I'm not a fan of the character, I like the old, I don't know, kind of like cartoonish style. But once he got onto Amazing Spider-Man, it made me really not want to buy that comic. So strictly because the art, the writing wasn't amazing. But I don't know. Spencer was good to start it off, but then the bad art was outweighing it. Grab this guy. Some Venom Spidey action. Just need that for my Spider-Man cover crossover collection. I swear to God, I'm gonna break something. I'm gonna break, break, break. Um, so here's another Iron Man. I guess I doubled up. Same as this book right here, right? Yeah. So what, we already rebooting everything? Everybody getting number ones again? Lovely. Some peach. I'm not a Momoko fan, I think I've said that before. I don't hate her work, but I don't like it. So it's in the realm of not liking it. <laughs> okay, this is from the new stack of stuff, even though it's old shit. <laughs> Havoc and Kitty, well, Cypher, to be, to be more, to be honest, to be more correct. I have a real one of both of these. In fact, hell, I got this one right here. With arm's reach, within arm's reach. I have uh, two of these, one from a Kitty Pride collection. I'm a big shadow cat, Kitty Pride, Sprite, Ariel. had so many code names um she became mrs rasputin um she's become she became i think it was a uh, oh god shut up shut up cox your mcdonald's ads driving me crazy brian cox what were we talking about kitty pride um she became like this, well, and she's probably like, I didn't really read that much of House of X Marauder shit, but she's like the Black Queen or Red Queen at one point. And then she's probably like Captain Kitty Pride, whatever, with the Marauders. I don't know. She probably has other names that I don't know. Um, but the other one was in, I think, Guardians of the Galaxy. She was like dating Star-Lord and shit, but there was a point where she became this like, not Herald of Galactus, but just had like cosmic powers. And she was uh, Black Vortex or something like that, or something with Vortex was the name of the comic. I don't know the what her name, what she was going by, what was, but <clears throat> long story short, Ramble Lane, Ramble Lane. I just want to look at that some more because that's beautiful. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, wait, these are from the other shop. Some Doctor Doom. Stanley meets Doctor Doom. St Stanley? Stan Lee. Stanley fucking Lieber meets Doctor Doom. And in this dope one, they were just in their his Doctor Doom back issues, so. 
Thank you. The farm is there. Uh, and this as well. New stand. Mark Julian. Always check your comments. Maybe. This was only uh, three bucks, so I just got it for spec purposes. I figured I could flip it for five without trying. For it being nice, great, a new stand. But then if anything happens with the show, you know, boom, ten bucks. Back to new stuff. This was from a couple weeks ago. I missed these when I was showing you one of my last videos. Bomb Queen. It has some shit to do with Donald Trump. And boobs. Um, this Mega Man book. It's like a hologram foil thing. And then here's the regular one. Good. Good placement. Aurora. I just can't help myself. What's this guy's name? Is this the clown hunter guy or is this some this other new new guy? I think it's this other new guy. No, because that was 96. This is another new guy. I can't keep track. It would help if I read it. Derek Chu cover. Um, my god, I hate that book. Yikes, it be. Alright, Mortal Hulk Zero. I didn't even know this was coming out, kind of surprised me. Well, I could not say no, I got two. I got to got two. I got to get two. I usually always get two copies of Mortal Hulk. So I, I, I did. Detective Comics hit the big uh, 1027. So that's a thousand issues of Detective Comics. They could make an anniversary out of literally any any book. They literally just had one 27 issues ago. And then prior to that, Batman, they gotta be at like 900 or a thousand now. Pretty goddamn close. Who are they? They just had a I think they just had a big thing they did. Annoying. It's not a reboot, another new number one. It's some big oversized anniversary issue. What was that one? Ten dollars and twenty seven cents. At least nine ninety nine. One of these times they're gonna get me for like fifteen bucks on these. Um I'm not a big Umbrella Academy fan in particular. I have a couple books. I liked that cover, and I liked that it was it's number one. It's sort of not horror-ish, but you know, I don't know. Teeth, <laughs> Teeth Cover Tuesday. Hmm, would that count as an In the Mouth cover? Ho oh, ho, maybe. Um, Heavy number one from Vault. Grab that. She's so heavy. Faithless? Oh, we should open this. Show you the dirty cover. I showed a couple of them already. I think I skipped three. I think I have one, two, and now four. Fuck. I hate when that happens. Oh, it's hype. So there was another... Man, I should have got more of these. It's got Dr. Fry on it. only got two. The Hulk that wouldn't die. 37. There's 99 of the bats. Oh, here we go. I did get one. Yeah, that's right. Should that go in my Spider Man crossover cover collection box? No. 
but it's probably the only Thor first print I will get, so it's going to go into this one full set I'm going to have. And here's another four I picked up for cover price, which in my opinion is the first... That should be the key, but it's a, somehow it's the, it's the cheapest book. Because the last page, you see this image. Now, I don't know if Black Winter was once... No, he wasn't. Yeah, they were talking about Silver Surfer Black 3 was sort of a... Could have been on the cover of something or in there. You see his face. You see this three, like, tri-head thing. Um, image on, like, a skull. But that wasn't... Yeah, I, I was almost thinking of uh, Null there. Yeah, because Null came from Thor back in the day. Thor God of Thunder. So, no, Black Winter's new, and this was the first time you see his full image. Which then after this, he's, like, taken other images. And he, he took other images on covers of, like, exclusives to 4 and 5. But in issue 4, this is the last page of this. So that should be the key, you would think. It's your first, if it's, you give it the Wolverine Venom treatment, that's a cameo then, whatever. But your first, first time you see him. But then the second print, this is the second print to this book. However, it's the Virgin exclusive variant cover, whatever. Um, the regular second print has the text, trade dress and stuff. Yeah, man, I don't get why nobody wants Thor 4. That's like the cheapest of the lot. They all want 5 and 2. Because apparently 2 had like a cameo of him. You see his hand. Or they talk about him or something. I mean, Venom 1 might as well be a key thing because they're like, Noel is coming. So yeah, this is Thor 4. You get an Empire crap in there, but that's the last page. Till then. Which is dope that they took this. I like when they take the panels or pages from the interiors as additional printings. Reprints, technically. Took a little purple away, but... Yeah, man. Nobody wants 4. I get it. Cause in five, he's in a like like that's a full appearance. Okay, everyone wants five. Five's a money book. But then now they're treating like two and three as cameos, so you should get those. It's like, no, nah, man, four is he's right there. That's why I don't get it. I can't keep up. All the keys and shit people want changes all the time. I got this in a Venom lot I bought off of eBay. I'm gonna sell it for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. No, probably just a hundred. It's first Dylan Brock, full Dylan Brock, but I think that's like a, I don't know, they go for like one, 120, 115, 120. If I wait a little bit, that book's rising in value, maybe I can get 150 or hold on to it longer. I sold my null third print too soon. Or, uh, excuse me, three third print, yeah. We'll see, but I'm not gonna sell it as part of a full set or anything. This one's getting, I'm keeping it like vault safe right now. Well, here's another virgin like that Thor you just saw. They're calling this the draft neck Spider-Man. Ridiculous. I am not a Momoko fan. I've already, I, just, I think I said that. Maybe I said that in the last take. <laughs> but not a big Momoko fan. However, I dig that cover. And I think most Momoko fans hate this cover. This is one of their least favorites. But it's probably my favorite of hers. Um, I got one of the, vir the sets. You get a virgin and a trade dress one. It's of the McFarlane Spider-Man number one facsimile. I also got the Clayton Crane variant. But that as well I'm keeping under secure locking key. And this one I was in the process of bagging and boarding. Got distracted. But Mortal Hulk 4, that's about a $15, $20 book. At least. Mortal Hulk's hot. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm done showing you... Sh Showing you guys bullshit. Hmm. Um, any of you guys see New Mutants? I got that Demon Bear book right here. I'm just showing that off for no reason. Just pulling some Sink Sinkevich books out. Sinky. Yeah, so that was my big haul. In the last couple weeks. I don't think I got much else nearby to show off, so... We'll wrap this up. I'll figure out what the hell is playing, because I don't know what kind of excuse for music this is. It's weird noises. Loud noises! I love lamp. 
you guys see the new um, WandaVision trailer that dropped? Let's open this together and see if it's like a Mark Jewel or has a magical signature that was overlooked. Uh, nope, because it's always in the centerfold. But always check your books. You never know when, like, Jack Kirby signed something or whatever. Or who happened to maybe be the... In the credits that you wouldn't expect. Or blah, blah, blah. Or you might see, like, an ad for something. Oh, see? Is that Namor? What am I reading? Oh, WandaVision. Nope. Oh, where's the fishing screen? No, that's just the naked guy. Simon Williams, Wonder Man. Not so bad. Grim Reaper and the usual suspects. Okay. Enough said. Ugh, the West Coast Avengers. <gasps> Buff. Yeah, I'm selling this garbage. But new trailer for WandaVision looked good. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to illegally downloading that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Disney, here's all. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Peep, peep the collection a little more. Death is back there. I got death up there too. I think that was from Walmart. Something stupid. Walmart. I got that at C2E2 last year, which is probably the last Comic Con ever. Thank you, COVID. And then a near complete MCU collection and all the other Marvel stuff that's come out. For the fucking most part. You can't even see back there, there's Iron Man. Stuff in the corner. And then the majority of the cartoons. And your ever loving blue eyed thing. Below that is even more of it Spider Man stuff. But my tripod. Um, disables me from showing you that. I'll do it anyway. Give me a sec. I'll go rogue. Gorilla filming. More Ultron. You like what I did there? See Ultron, Ultron, Ultron? There's more Ultron here than the whole fucking Age of Ultron movie. Oh, Brian Cox is back. Ruining my video. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Um, check out some of my other videos. Give me a subscribe, whatever. I don't care. Yes, I do. I'm desperate for your love and affection. But um, no, you can go follow me on Instagram, and I'll be selling a lot of these books that you just saw. Because, I don't know, I'm tired of buying new stuff, and I've been actually selling more than I've been keeping. Okay, well, I'm leaving. Bye. Now we get the greatest story.